Hi kids! It's me, your teacher Ian. At nandito si teacher para tulungan kayo sa pagsasagot ng mga activities at mas maunawaan mo pa ang aralin dito sa Mathematics 4. Ito ang ikaapat na linggo ng third quarter. Kung mapapansin niyo may nakalagay na A since ang week 4 natin ay may tatlong topics. Welcome to the class! Before we begin our class, make sure that you have your notebook, pen, and module in math. For our objective, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to change the improper fraction to mix numbers and vice versa. We'll be discussing about changing improper fraction to mix numbers and vice versa. Okay, first we define the following terms. Proper fraction. Fractions that the numerators are less than the denominator. Ganun lang kasimple. Yung nasa taas, mas maliit kaysa doon sa nasa baba. Next, improper fraction. Fractions that the numerators are greater than the denominators. Magkabaliktad naman. Diba kapag sinabi natin fraction, uh, fraction, ito yung ganito, yung my bar line. Kapag improper fraction, mas mataas daw yung nasa taas kaysa nasa baba. That is improper fraction. Yung kanina na proper fraction, dapat mas mababa ang nasa taas kaysa doon sa nasa baba. O, yun yung pagkakaiba ng proper fraction sa improper fraction. Next, the mixed fraction. A number expressed in a whole number and a fraction. Example, may whole number daw. 3 and 1 fourth. O, yan. Yan yung sinasabi na mixed fraction or mixed number. Okay? Let's say meron tayong given na 10 fourth. Okay? Express daw natin ito sa uh, first, ito ay improper fraction. Bakit? Because the numerator, itong nasa taas natin, ay mas malaki lang kulay. Ay mas malaki kaysa dito sa denominator. This is improper fraction. Ngayon, gagawin natin itong mixed number. Okay. Ang improper fraction ay pwedeng gawing mixed number or mixed fraction. A mixed fraction pwedeng gawing improper fraction. Now, sabi, tiba nung tinuturo ito sa grade 3, grade 2, and grade 1, ibig sabihin, 10 yung may shades. Okay? Na, ay ito daw ay hinati-hati sa apat. So, parang ito lang yan. Ito. We have 4 fourths. 4 fourth at 2 fourth. Kung titinan mo, bilangin niyo may shades 4, 8, 10. Diba? Na hinati-hati sa apat. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Ito na lang ay 2 fourth. Why? Because dalawa na lang yung may shade. Tapos may natitira pa ang dalawang wala. Ngayon. That only means meron tayong uh, 4 fourth, 4 divided by 4 is 1 or 1 whole. Ibig sabihin, yung kabuuan na yan, buo, isang buo, may, may shade, that is isang buo. Ito din, isang buo. Tapos, ay teacher, bakit naging 1 half na lang? E tingnan mo to, oh, katumbas lang din naman ng 2 fourth ay 1 half. Bakit? Kapag ito hinati lang sa dalawa, yung isa may shade. At itong isa, wala. So, that is one half. Parang simplifying. No? Sinimplify lang natin yung two-fourth. E, ito lang din naman yan. Kalahate. Kalahate. No? Yung isa at isa pa, that is two. Tapos, syempre, yung one half na natitira. Okay? Para ito lang yan. ba Two and one half. Kung ito ay gagawing improper, kung ito ay gagawin na mixed number, ito ay napaka uh, habang proseso. Pero pakita natin na maikli lang. 
gawin natin yung maikling uh, paraan. Okay. We don't need to draw. Yan, 10 over 4. Paano nakuha yung 2 and 1 half? Yes, 2 and 1 half. You just have to divide 10 by 4. Divide mo yung 10 sa 4. Ang sagot ay 2. Bakit 2? May remainder pa yan. Yung matitira ay lalagay mo sa taas. Kapag dinivide mo yung 10 sa 4, ang sagot ay 2. Tapos may remainder na 2. Dito mo yung lalagay sa taas. Tapos copy mo lang itong nasa baba. Yung denominator natin na 4. Yan na yun. Again, bakit naging 1 half? Kasi yung 2, pwede mo pa yan i-divide sa 2. Tapos yung 4, pwede mo din i-divide sa 2. If the numerator and the denominator can be divided by a number, ibig sabihin, pwede pa yung i-simplify. So, we can simplify 2 fourth. Yan. Huwag mong babaguhin yung whole number, ha? Remaining, ah, uh, remain yan. Tapos, 2 is, pag dinivide sa 2 is 1. Tapos, yung 4 pag dinivide sa 2 ay 2. So, this is the simplified answer. 2 and 1 half. Kung sagot mo ito, tama din naman. Kaya, kaya lang, we can, we can still simplify the answer. Kaya ito yung sagot. So, next. Let us have another example. Let's say we have 13 over 7. For sana yung susulat ko. Pero sige, lagyan na natin na 7. Ayan. 13 over 7, 13 divided by 7. Again, para makuha mo yung whole number, kasi this is a improper fraction. Again, pagka sinabi natin improper fraction, mas malaki ang numerator kaysa doon sa denominator. Kaya, i-divide natin yung 13 sa 7, ang makukuha natin only 1. Okay? Tapos, may remainder tayo. Ano yung matitira? May matitira pa tayong 6 kapag dinivide natin yung 13 sa 7. Okay? Tapos, copy mo lang yung denominator. Since ang 6 at 7, wala na naman tayong pwedeng or common denominator, uh, common divisor para dito sa ating 6 at 7, ito na yung final answer. 1 and 6, 7. Okay? 1, 6 over 7. Ganun lang. Simple. O, last na ha. May sipa tayo na example. Parahin ko lang to. Ay, mabara nun. Okay. Lakihan natin. Medyo lakihan. 33 over 5. O, oh, ayan. Ayan. Let us change 33 over 5 to mixed number or mixed fraction. 33 divided by 5. Ilan na ang pwede? Or ilan makukuha natin? The answer is 6. Ayan. Tapos, ano yung remainder? Matitira. 5 times 6 is 30. O, oh, may sobra pa na 3. Yes. Tapos, copy the denominator 5. Yan. Now, pwede pa ba natin masimplify itong 3 over 5? Meron pa ba silang common denomi denominator? <laughs> Lagi ko na sa sub denominator. Meron pa ba itong common divisor? Itong 3 at 5? Wala na. Kasi prime... Prime number na tong 3 at saka 5. So, we can say that the mixed number of 33 over 5 is 6 and 3 fifth. But that's it. We move on. How about mixed number to improper fraction? Oh, ayun lang. Ang gagawin lang natin is kung kanina nag-divide tayo, this time imumultiply naman natin. Let's say we have 1 and... 2 third. Oh. Ang mab pinakamabilis niyan, ito. 3 times 1 plus 2. Yan yung whole number natin. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is whole number daw eh. Baka yung numerator. Ayan. 5, then copy the denominator. Yan. May namali ako dun sa sinabi ko. Not whole number but the numerator. Again, 3 times 1 plus 2 is the numerator and then you copy the denominator. Very simple. Let us erase this one. Then, let's have another example. Okay? Barahin ko lang. Okay. 2 and 5. 
5 over 9. Again, 9 times 2 plus 5, that will be our numerator. What is the answer? 9 times 2 is 18 plus 5 is 23 over. Copy the denominator, 9. That's the improper fraction of 2 and 5 over 9. Last one. Yan, medyo bagal magbura. Whoop. Alright. How about 3 and uh, 2 7? Again, we multiply the denominator to whole number. Then, we add the numerator. That will be our numerator in our improper fraction. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 2 is 23 over, copy the denominator, 7. That's it. That's the improper fraction of 3 and 2 over 7. Okay na? Ayan, magsasagot na tayo. Learning task 1, change the following improper fraction or mixed number. Write your answer in your notebook. Always reduce your answer to the lowest term if possible. So, yun. I-simplify it daw. O, kung kaya pa, yung fraction, meron pa itong common divisor, ay ilagay nyo sa lowest term. Number 1. O, oh, yeah. 2, 3, 4. And so, itong ating numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, gagawin nyo itong mix number. Ito namang 6 to 10 ay i-change nyo to improper fraction. Again, kapag to mix number, ang gagawin nyo ay pa-divide. Kapag naman to improper fraction, multiply, then add the numerator. Learning task 2, fill in with the correct numerator or denominator. Write the answer in your notebook. Number 1. Ito na. Itong 13 over 4 ay gagawing improper, ay improper, mixed number. Nababaliktad na ako ulit. Itong 13 over 4, gagawing mixed number. Ano yung nawawala daw na numerator? Number 2. Yan. Ang given natin ay mixed number. Gagawin naman itong improper fraction. Yan. Nawawala again ay numerator. Number 3. Given, mixed number, gagawing improper fraction. Number 4, ganun pa rin, mixed number, then gagawing improper fraction. Nawawala natin, numerator sa number 4, and also, in number 3, numerator. Number 5, improper fraction, gagawing mixed number or mixed fraction. Number 6, ito madali lang, nawawala denominator. Diba, kinakapi lang natin yan. Number 7. Mixed number, gagawing improper fraction. Number 8, ganun din. Mixed number, gagawing improper fraction. To change improper fraction to mixed number or fraction, divide the numerator by the denominator. Express the remainder as fraction and write the whole number and fraction together. O, yun. Yung halimbawa na 4 over 3, we divide 4 by 3, we'll have 1. The remainder is 1 third. Yung 1, tapos you copy the denominator 3. To change the mixed number to improper fraction, multiply the denominator and the whole number. Add the product to the numerator and express the sum as fraction using the original denominator. So, ayan, ibalik natin. Ito naman, 2 and 1 fourth. Gawin natin improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Then, copy the denominator 4. 
Learning task 3. Give the mixed number of each and proper fraction. Write your answer in your notebook. Gagawin lamang itong mixed number. O, again ha, pagka gagawing mixed number, you have to divide. Divide the numerator by the denominator. At yung remainder, syempre, di ba, ilalagay dun sa taas, then copy the denominator. Yan. Labas ko na lang lahat ng given. Yan. Good luck. Solve the following problem. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one, change 3 and 2 seventh to improper fraction. Number two, change 56 over 7 to mixed fraction. Number three, change 75 over 7 to mixed fraction. Number four, how many fifths are there in 6 and 3 fifths? Uh, let me give you an example for this number 4. Siyempre, hindi uh, same lang, pero hindi yan mismong question. Halimbawa, meron tayo dito na uh, 2 and um, 3 fourths. Ang tanong for this, how many fourths are there in 2 and 3, 3 fourths? Hanapin muna itong uh, mix fraction. 4 times 2 plus 3 is... 12, uh, 8 plus 3, 11 over 4. The numerator is the number of fourths are there in 11 over 4. So, ganun. Just the same with this number 4. Uh, follow lang this example. Number 5. How many sixths are there in 42 over 6? O oh, yan, o ha? Hindi ka na mag, ano dito, hindi ka na mag change to improper kasi naka-improper na. Number six, how many eighths are there in three and two eighths? Ah, yun eh. Mabilis lang, di ba? Parang ano lang, yung ginulo lang ng konti. Pero, ganun lang din yung gagawin. You have to change, ganyan, tapos yung numerator. And that's it. Thank you for watching, kids. Good luck sa inyong pagsasagot. See you on my next video. Goodbye!